Hey guys, we're back with some more EU3 as Iceland in the Dark Continent mod. So, we are um, getting our fleet destroyed. Let's go home. Um, yeah, we're uh, playing this. And uh, my goal right now, I've said this before, but my goal right now is to develop these colonies a little bit more. To expand and finish up Newfoundland. And to expand onto the mainland a little bit more. Because right now we're pretty much just... Uh, not on the mainland. And of course to get the government tech level 9. That's going to be important. Currently we are a noble republic. And that will actually. Hmm, uh, that will give us the ability to be at government tech level. Um, not, I mean government tech level 9 will allow us to be a feudal monarchy. But I'm not really interested in feudal monarchy. So I'm going to stick with what I got. It's uh, served me pretty well so far. So I'm going to stay with it. Now these two Russian factions, Novgorod and Muscovy, um, they are doing quite well, I'd like to say, against the Horde. Uh, we might see a return of orthodoxy to uh, Europe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Especially with uh, Ruma doing quite well, They're, them being orthodox. Um, the rest of these guys are Muslim, Muslim, of course, but you know we'll see. And culture map mode, these guys are French, these guys are German. Uh, you know, it's the same as you'd expect, you know, usually. Except, you know, now we got some Turco-Semitic Berber places. Uh, it's a little bit different, but, you know, it's uh, it's all good. Not many Greek Greek places left. A lot of um, um, Turkish, though. I, I, I predict Turkish being a big uh, player in this game. Uh, not... Well, not Turkish, but Turco-Semitic, more specifically. But, uh, yeah. I want to maybe clear out some of these ways in here. To, uh, get rid of them. Because I hate having an un incomplete map. It just absolutely annoys me. More than anything in the world. So we need to fix that. Actually, we need to get home is what we need to do. Don't die, ships. Come on, don't die. Ooh, it's close. Oh, they almost died. One more month and they would have died. But we got it. And the Mamluks lost another war against the Algerians. Yeah, the Algerians are going to be the um, African power. That's just going to be... Just going to be the way it is. I tried singing there. Don't ever let me sing again. I'm sorry. I tried to be all... Uh, Tupac. But didn't work. And I need a new explorer now because the old one died. Wow. That's uh, that's not good. And I'm losing magistrates per year because I need to be innovative. That's uh, that's not good. But uh, I don't think I'll need too... If I think about it, I don't think I'll need too many uh, missionaries. Because... Ugh, I hate stability. I like stability, but I hate losing it. I don't think I'll need too many... Uh, missionaries because uh, most of my provinces are going to be colonies which are automatically your religion anyway so we'll see how we go with that maybe when the reformation hits we might have a little bit of trouble but I don't think we will I think we'll be fine I'm interested to see what comes out of these uh, um, oh Ferranza got bigger I'm interested to see what comes out of the um, these three the uh, triumvate of um, people that are going to fight over land. These guys, these guys, these guys, and kind of Ruma as well. Yeah, Ruma as well, I guess. They are uh, most certainly considered in like the triumvate of people. Now, the Ottomans as also, uh, they've got Venezia, making them probably very rich sometime soon. Uh, once they get a core on that, because, yeah. Algiers, massive. Probably bigger than they have any right to be, with expanding into Europe as well. That's why we are leaving Europe to the Europeans. They can go screw themselves. We're taking America. Because they can't touch us there. Not for a while, at least. And they're not. it's not hard-coded into their AI to be exploring nations. Like, Algiers isn't hard... You know, they're not designed to explore. They can... They have the capacity to explore, but it's not coded into them, so I'm not too worried about it, honestly. 
Our trade tech is just really good. It is really good. Now, quality gain one. Yes, I want that. What's our tech? Our tech is meh. Kind of average when you uh, think about it in comparison to the rest of the world. We've got kind of average tech, but I will be fine. We could up our navy. And what the heck? Oh, we can stop paying our military as well. We don't need them anymore. They are just sitting here. Where are they actually? Oh, they're right here. They're in a... Burr. I left them in the uh, retarded province that, that I haven't... Get bureaucrat. Oh, I hate you. He's all right, I guess, but I left them in the uncolonized province, which is really stupid of me. Like, incredibly stupid. All right, let's see. I'm not going to have much to do until my map mode, in, or my uh, col colonial uh, range increases as uh, shown by this map mode, of course. So, until that happens, we're going to be just kind of sitting around. Maybe building a few... Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe build a fort or two. Build a fort here. Why not? It's got the largest population out of any of my colonies. I think 2,000 people. 1,700. And this place is just growing slow. I don't know what's up with it. Alright, alright. So I'll build a fort here. It's worth it. Well, no, why not? If we get assaulted at all, we can... uh. Defend it now. But I'm not terribly worried about that. Especially not this early in the game. I do believe that a fort is a good investment. Only because, um... Heck, it's a fort. We need a fort. Fort would be nice. Fort 1 has been built in Eric's Ford. I wonder if that's named for Eric the Great. Or not Eric the Great, Eric the Red. Why did I say Eric the Great? It was Eric the Red. That was his name. Anyway, we need to get up to hopefully 1492 because that is the year that Columbus sailed the ocean blue and it is also the year that we will get cores on these, which is what I'm hoping for. Because as soon as we get, as co as soon as we get core on cores on these, we should be able to... Ooh! As soon as we get cores on these, we should be able to uh, increase our income quite a bit, especially considering our... When I say quite a bit, I mean compared to what we have now, which is completely awful. Most of our income is coming from t harbor fees, which is, I guess, kind of good. I mean, I'm assuming that it's good because uh, I'm getting a lot of money off of it, but we shall see. We shall see. Now, what are we getting here? In 66, November of 66. All right, not too far away. Next year, late next year. We got land going up. I need um after this I need I need naval tech to go up. That's gonna be the next one I invest in, most likely. Not most likely, definitely, because I need to get a large trade, uh, not trade, colonial range. Land tech advance. Then it went up. That's good. That's good. Our income is absolutely massive. I don't know how we... I mean, it's not massive. It's massive for... It went up very quickly, basically. It was tiny before, and now it's tolerable. What's this? Ugh. Hold on. What's... Ignore them. I'd rather lose the stability at that point. I don't want to lose the government tech. I can't handle... I actually can't handle losing the government tech. I don't think I could handle that at least. I'd probably flip out a little bit. Now we should be very soon. Come on. Very soon. Very soon. Come on, November. Come on. Once we get to November, um, we can start investing in naval tech, most likely. Yep, there we go. How long will naval tech take us? That's a better question. Till 71? Yeah, we'll do it. Why not? And then we'll invest in that afterwards. So we got a, we got a good thing going on right now. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me look at what, I, what idea I'm going to take. Let's see. Probably. It's got to be exploration. Definitely. 
It's probably gonna be Colonial Ventures. Ooh, or Global Tariffs. I'll, I'll probably go with Colonial Ventures though, because I need more. Well, not really, actually. I'll see. I'll see. I'll probably go um, Tariffs actually. Both my Explorer guys are dead, so that's not good. My Explorer and my Conquistador are both dead. They lived a good life. Discovered America. Got a new slider change. Innovative. Uh, stop losing stability. Hate that. I absolutely hate that. Yeah, Catalonia is just screwed. Not even worth mentioning anymore. Um, however, Ruma doing quite well, it seems. The Latin culture, Rumi. A few Lombard cultures left over, but see, see, there's no one there. There's no natives, so there's no... You know, Europeans left over. It's kind of sad to see uh, Islam take over Europe so much, but oh well. It's not too bad. Grr. I lose the stability because, like I said, I don't want to lose the, um... I didn't say it. Why am I saying like I said? Anyway, I don't want to lose the money because I'm trying to invest in forts for these places. I'm going invest in one here very soon. I'll do it now. There we go. I'm skirting near the edge of bankruptcy constantly just because my income is so low. Which is why I, need, I can't wait for these places to core. It's going to be absolutely vital. Get my stability up wouldn't hurt either. Let me just invest in that. That's a little bit more important, I think. Stability actually is probably the most important thing to research in this game. It's always best to... Uh, oh, Moscow, we lost. Ah, uh, barely. Doesn't count as losing, whatever. They're still huge. How many of those are colonies, though, is the question. It's a colony. Eh, they stole a lot from the Golden Horde. Uh, but a lot of these are legitimate places. And yeah, these are the three places stolen from uh, Muscovy. All right, that sounds good. All right, now I need to, yep, okay, stability is gonna be up, there we go. Now it'll be up again in April of next year, so we gotta wait a year. Not too bad. That really does help our economy, though. Just a little bit of stability makes all the difference. It really does. Let's see. We're paying a lot for military maintenance. Why am I doing that? Well, I guess it, I guess it is because I did expand my military a little bit, but it's not that big. I mean, my military is not that impressive. Not at all. State needs the money. You built a fort, right? Yep. Okay. Now, let me mute my microphone real quick. I gotta scratch myself on the ear, and it's gonna be very loud if I don't mute the microphone. So, one second, folks. Alright, I'm back. Um, the only thing I hate about having a head headset is that, like, if I move it at all, like, what I did right there, I'm not sure if you heard that, but it, to me, at least it comes out sounding very, very loud. Uh, which I hate. What's a courthouse do? I forget. Nah, useless. Right now, at least. I'll build a uh, constable in a Jair six in, in, in Eric's Ford, I think it's called. Eric's Ford? Eric's Ford. Alright. Uh, full stability. Invest everything in naval. And I want to finish this pretty soon because then I can send bureaucrat candidate. Yes, I'll keep him. I mean, he's terrible, but he's better than nothing. His military is alright. His diplomacy sucks, but his administration is really good. So I'm going to keep him for a while. He is really good. Really good. Yeah, we got no missionaries left. Oh, well, whatever. I don't even care. I do not even in the slightest care. Now, I need to get uh, trade tech. Not trade tech, naval tech up. So I can send a colonist because I have to end the video soon because it's uh, about that time, about 15 minutes in. So if I could just get this colonist real quick, that'd be nice. 
Well, not this colonist, but this tech. And I don't know where I'm going to send the colonists is the problem. I haven't quite decided yet. Well, I guess it's only one place I can send them. All right. Let's see. I will send him. What the heck? Oh, I can't even send him there, can I? Oh, I hate you. That will go in government then. When will that be researched? June of another year. Okay, well, we'll put it off till then, folks. So, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks.